Hello, it's Phil here at the NAM show at the Behringer stand, and we've got Decadance 2 software here, which is shipping with all their new controllers. I'm also with Craig, who has had the software for how long have you had the software for? Craig? Uh, a day and a half. He's had it for a day and a half, so we're, we're in early here, but don't expect him to know everything about it. However, he does know the software in its previous incarnation, and of course, as uh, one of the guys engineering this whole project, he knows a little bit more about it than I do. So Craig's going to talk us through a very high-level look at uh, what's in front of us uh, now. So uh, fire away, Craig. Cool. So uh, the first thing you'll notice is that it's now Fordet compatible, which is fantastic. It, it, it brings Decadance up to uh, uh, other programs on the market like Tractor. But uh, what's more, you've got the multicolored waveforms. You have a complete mixer section here with gain and also filter. So uh, it's, it's very much what you're used to. Uh, we can go over here to the effects. In the new Decadance, effects are set up very much like they are in Tractor, where it is a in group mode. You have three effects set up here. One of the cool things about this software that isn't that in the Tractor software is that you have the option of applying your effects chain to either the high, mid, or low frequency, so you can isolate frequency bands and apply the effects just to those. And of course, you can select the effect, turn it on or off, and control the amount, just like you can in any other software package. So that's very cool. You've got three for each deck. Let's move over here to the sample player. 16 pad MPC style sample play interface. You can record and play back, move those over to a pad. Here's your level control. You can also sync with a deck. And uh, this is really sweet. Even if you're just uh, a guy that needs a little, a little air horn and gunshot action going on in your mix. <laughs> And where are we going here? Oh, and you've got different modes, uh, of course, uh, that you can play the samples back at. Let's go up here. So for all the Serato guys out there that like the vertical waveforms, uh, we've got it here. Let me play all four of these just so you guys can get a look. So, puts all your waveforms together across the play line. So if you like the side-by-side -side waveforms instead of stacked like this, you have that option as well. Come over here. This is something that Decadance had, VST compatibility. So you can load VSTs in and uh, uh, this is the interface <laughs> for that. I haven't played around with the VST functionality yet, but uh, I'll give it a shot in my hotel room later on tonight. And finally, and this is one of the, the coolest features in any DJ software that I've seen, this is ImageLine's GrowSpeed uh, plugin. And what they've done is they've taken GrowSpeed and put it into their DJ software. So I can take, for example, if you look on Deck A over here, I can load a GrowSpeed pattern. And if I want to go in and take a look at that pattern, I click the drop down. And we can pull up, and here's the editor. I can go in and edit my pattern there. But also, it comes with just a gigantic library of stuff built in. So you can see that each one of these options has a ton of presets. Plus, of course, you have the, the chance to make your own really, really slick stuff. I can't wait to dig into this really deeply and learn the functionality more. Uh, but just as it stands, it's a lot of fun. So, Craig, I'm looking at the software now, and I'm seeing a bank of 32 buttons, which are laid out in a way which looks extremely like Quick Edit. Wow, an LC1. Um, obviously, this tie-in with Decadance is giving you the chance to do things where there's maybe a little bit closer integration than other arbitrary controllers paired off with software. And this is an obvious one because just before we started filming, you showed me these knobs and buttons, these buttons rather, um, controlling what we just looked at on the software. Absolutely. I mean, the, the cool thing uh, about this software and how modular it is just by its nature is that it fits really well with CMD. And uh, like, for instance, the sample player that we showed you pairs up extremely well with the DC-1. Uh, all of our deck controls handled on the PL-1. 
the way the LC one would map into Grosby is you would have rows of eight buttons, four by four for each deck. So this would be deck A, deck uh, C, B and D right here. And it maps into the software exactly. So you, what you see on the controller is exactly what you see in the interface. And if anyone's come to this video, um, you know, wanting to know about the new Decadance, um, these controllers that we're looking at have been announced for a full year now. They're just coming to market as we as we record this in January uh, of 2013. And there are seven controllers in this uh, Behringer range. They all ship with the software we've been looking at. Uh, and all obviously can uh, be put together, as you see three of them are put together here, to control various aspects of it. Uh, and it's really up to you what you want to do with it, yeah? Absolutely. Now let me also be clear that uh, the software that this is shipping with, that all the CMD controllers are shipping with, is the LE version of Decadance 2. We're showing the full version because why not? You know, is this, this is the full-blown V8 engine version of the software. Uh, the, the LE version is what we're shipping with this. It will have some cut-down functionality. Uh, details about that will be available very soon. Honestly, I'm not exactly familiar with what the, the difference in the LE version is. But um, it's the full version of the software is pretty neat.